Shout out to the real ones and welcome into New York Giants now by Chat Sports. We're about to get into a mailbag where I answer subscribers' questions. These go down every single Wednesday. So if you're not subscribed, problem number one. The way you can fix that, go down right now, hit that big red button, and turn your notifications on so you get alerted anytime we go live on the channel. Marshall Green here from Chat Sports. Make sure you hit that sub button and let's get into some questions. Shout out to my guy Connor says, any hope X-Man comes back for Washington game Sunday night? I think that's the game the Giants have circled on the calendar right now. He is eligible to come off injured reserve. He could technically play this weekend, but Brian Dable said he was getting his pins taken out of his hand on Wednesday, and that it's probably unlikely that he plays this Sunday. So still a chance, a small chance. I would say I am more hopeful that Xavier McKinney could play Sunday night against the Washington Commanders. That's the game. Uh, that that's the game I would look for. I would look for McKinney to come back against Washington. It'd be a huge lift. The Giants have been missing a lot of tackles the last couple of weeks without McKinney. I think he makes this defense much better. I think he's one of the best safeties in the National Football League. Getting X Man back would be huge for Big Blue and Wink Martindale. Antonio G, my guy. If the Giants let Saquon go. Should the should they sign Josh Jacobs? This is an interesting question. Um, Josh Jacobs has been electric this year for the Las Vegas Raiders, but so has Saquon Barkley. These are the rushing leaders through Week 13 of the National Football League. Josh Jacobs is number one. He's ran for 1,300 yards, and Nick Chubb's number two with 1,100. Derrick Henry. 1078, Saquon Barkley at fourth with 1055, and Dalvin Cook at 927. We know that Saquon Barkley is one of the best backs in the National Football League, but I think he's going to ask for all, all these people on screen right here. I mean, we can go to this next graphic. Derrick Henry's already got paid. Dalvin Cook's already got paid. Josh Jacobs is a free agent. Saquon Barkley's a free agent. They're going to be asking for a lot of money. I don't think I'd pay Saquon Barkley anything over $14 million. I think you can get Josh Jacobs for about $11, $10 million. Um, But I do think Saquon Barkley is a better back than Josh Jacobs. I, I am a big fan, though, of Jacobs. I think he's good in the receiving game. And I think he runs hard, really hard through the tackle. So I'll pull it up and ask you guys the questions. I want the real ones to answer this one. Pick a RB. Who would you rather have on the Giants next year? Type SB for Saquon Barkley. Type JJ for Josh Jacobs. Even if Saquon cost $2 million, $3 million more than Josh Jacobs, I would roll with him. I think he's a leader. He's a captain of this football team. He never misses an off-season workout, never misses a – it's not a voluntary workout. He's always there. I'd roll with Saquon Barkley even though Josh Jacobs having a better year. Let me know what you would do. Type SB for Saquon, JJ for Josh Jacobs. I do want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, that being Fetch. Earn points on any receipt from any store or restaurant and redeem those points for gift cards and other rewards. Go to chatsports.com slash fetch and get 5,000 bonus points for free. Fetch is an awesome app and it is super easy to use. Today's Giants Now is brought to you by Fetch, the free app that allows you to scan your receipts and earn points that can be redeemed for gift cards to your favorite stores and restaurants. It's super easy to use. You use the app to snap a photo of your receipt from your purchases from any store or click the e-receipt option and Fetch can connect you to your Amazon account and you'll earn points for all shipped orders. Plus, you can connect your email to earn points for your e-receipts from Uber, Instacart, or any purchases online, Amazon. Then those points can be redeemed for gift cards at your favorite stores or restaurants restaurants it's really easy earn free rewards look the app is free and you can earn points for free that can be redeemed for gift cards to walmart to panera bread to any place you like to go they'll give you a free gift card get started today and get 5,000 bonus points for free by just downloading the app chatsports.com slash fetch help me out the more downloads we get the better it is for the channel that helps the company if you want to show some love, do that. Go to chatsports.com slash fetch. Get 5,000 bonus repeal, uh, points for free. You're halfway on your way to a gift card. Just snap your receipts. It's that easy. Chatsports.com slash fetch. Shout out to Fetch for sponsoring today's show. Corinne! What up, Corinne? Will Tay Crowder be released at the end of the year? This is a great question, Corinne. And that's why I know that you're an absolute real one. You don't let anything go miss. Tay Crowder, after the game, tweeted out, free me. 
Um, he has been playing that much. He's kind of out of the rotation at the inside linebacker spot. Um, you know, do they cut him? I doubt it, but I bet he might get a a, a, a DNP coach's decision. He might be a healthy scratch. I, I think it's kind of upsetting that Tay Crowder is is a guy that was at once a starting inside linebacker for this team, but now is not playing, and now he's complaining about playing. Um, pretty disappointing. Uh, also, Rodarius Williams was complaining about playing time on Twitter after the game. It's not really good to have those types of guys in your locker room. Corinne, to be honest with you, I'd probably cut them both. I, I wouldn't want either of those guys in my locker room. But will they do it? I don't I don't think so. And why for life, when's a Dorian Ben Bredesen coming back? So today... Brian Dable was asked about Ben Bredesen, and I'll pull that tweet up real quick. Adoree Jackson, I think, is still a couple of weeks away. I don't think that uh, Adoree Jackson is going to play this week against the Philadelphia Eagles. I think the earliest he would be back is against the Washington Commanders, and if he's not back that week, I think it would be the next week. But Ben Bredesen will practice on Wednesday and continue working his way back during his now 14-day window to be activated from injury reserve. Dable says the Giants will treat this week the same as they did last week and make a decision on the O-line closer to Saturday's 4 p.m. deadline. So at the moment on Wednesday, we don't have a true update on Ben Bredesen. He's getting closer and closer. Would be good to see him out there, but I do still think we're maybe a week away from seeing Ben Bredesen back at the starting left guard spot. I'll tell you this much, though. If I get news or info on Bredesen or Dory Jackson, we're going to get you guys a video as soon as possible because that's what we do. When the Giants make a move, when injury news come out, when rumors come out, we get you guys a video faster than anybody else on YouTube. So that's what you're looking for. Daily updates faster than anybody else and all as well as informative and enter entertaining uh, coverage of the Giants on YouTube. Hit that big red button. YouTube.com slash TV. Mark B, Holmes got to step up this game. Reminds me of when we drafted Haley out of Penn State. Grant. Hey, wow, just another undersized corner. Um, I think Darnay Holmes is a much better player than Grant Haley. Um, I think, I think we saw how important Holmes was to this defense when he didn't play against the Washington Commanders on Sunday. Giants seen him back. He's not an elite corner, but he's solid, and he just needs to be on the field. He makes this team better. I'm hoping that Holmes gets back out there this week. I know he's dealing with a shoulder injury at the moment, but Mark P., great member of Grant Haley um, out of Penn State, a guy that Saquon Barkley was a friend of. I thought he was going to click with the Giants. Did not work out. I think Holmes has been a much better pro than he has. MT43 says, I know it's early, but where do you think the Giants go in second round of the draft? Inside linebacker, middle linebacker, corner. So I'm assuming that the Giants will go receiver or best player available. And the draft, say that there's, say the Giants pick at 22, right? And on their big board at pick 22, they have a corner above receiver. I think they would go corner. I think the Giants are a BPA type of team, best player available. But let's say they go wide receiver in round one. Um, how would I rank my needs of this team? I would say corner, interior offensive lineman, then middle linebacker. I think a middle linebacker could change the way this team plays right now, and I think it could be huge, but I just think interior linemen and cornerback are more important positions in today's modern NFL. Look, if you can find a three-down linebacker that doesn't come off the field, that's a big piece, and getting that on a Giants defense would be huge. Odell Beckham with a question. How many sacks do you think Kayvon will get the rest of the season? So he has two right now. You got five more games. Can I get two more sacks? At minimum, I need at least two more sacks from Kayvon Thibodeau. Can I get one game this year where Kayvon Thibodeau has more than two sacks or more than one sack in a game? For all the people that want to call him a bust, I would call you an idiot. Um, I think Kayvon Thibodeau has been great. The sack numbers aren't there, but look at the pressures. He's coming off an, a, a sprained MCL in the beginning part of the season. I'm still all in on Kayvon Thibodeau. The burst. I think he's great in the run game. I think his instincts are up there. I'm not out on Kayvon. Give me five sacks at the end of the season. Show me the money with the last question on the show. Should the Giants draft Anthony Richardson? Um, this has been something that has been going on on Twitter for a while. 
The Giants have been linked to Richardson for one reason, and it's because of Brian Dable. Brian Dable turned it around for a very raw quarterback quarterback in Josh Allen that have all the tools to be successful. Big, strong, fast, strong arm. Anthony Richardson checks all those boxes. This is what he did in the 2022 season at Florida. The completion percentage scares the hell out of me. The fact that he only completed 54% of his passes is scary. But the guy's got one of the strongest arms in the world. He's a big, strong athlete. He can run 654 rushing yards. I think he had a run of 80 yards for a touchdown so far this year. He also had nine rushing touchdowns. Anthony Richardson is a guy that checks all of the boxes. It's just uh, my question is, can he put it all together and be a starter in the National Football League? Everyone wants to talk about how Brian Dable resurrected the career of Josh Allen. If he could do it for Allen, could he do it for Richardson? I don't think it's apples to apples, but I understand what everyone's saying. You know, if it's in the second round, I would think about it. Probably wouldn't do it in the first round. If he's there in the third round, I'd jump at it, no doubt about it. But I'll ask the real ones right now. Would you draft Anthony Richardson, the quarterback out of Florida? I know if you guys aren't big college football fans, you might not have gotten to see too much about him, but he's a damn good football player. I just question if he's ready to be a QB in the National Football League. I saw some very raw tendencies and some plays where I questioned if he was even reading the field or deciding who he was throwing to pre-snap. But you can always get better. He has all the tools. He can be great, no doubt about it. I'll ask you, though, why for yes and for no. Let me know. And as always, shout out to you guys for tuning in. As always, we wouldn't do these shows if you guys didn't tune in. You always show up. You always watch. And the real ones finish the video. So if you finish the video today, go down right now and give me a real one in the comment section right now.